lovelies, Jen and Caitlin here with Fleur and B's Beauty in Pajamas. And we're here to educate you today about toner. What it is, why you should use it, and how it can really boost the benefits to your skin when you integrate it into your routine. Okay, personally, I'm super excited right now because I love being educated, especially when it's about skincare products. All right, love your enthusiasm, Jenna. All right, so I know what you might be thinking. WTF is a toner. Why should I be using it? Mm -hmm. I was definitely thinking that, for sure. I knew for it. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so well, basically, a toner is a liquid that minimizes the appearance of pores. A liquid, okay, got it. Yes. <laughs> Temporarily tightens skin and it's refreshing. So my friends were talking about how a toner can like sometimes make your skin dried out. And I just wondered like if a lot of toners do that, like why, like do we want to use a toner if they're drying out our skin? So your friends are probably talking about toners that include ingredients that are harsh and drying. Oh. All right. And those are ingredients that you should avoid. All right. So let me tell you what those are. The first ingredient to avoid is alcohol. Wait, what? Don't worry. Just in your toner. You can drink if you want. Oh, thank God. In moderation. The next is salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, parabens, artificial fragrance. Oh, I hate artificial fragrance. Me too. And this tricky one, phthalates. What? Can I see that? Phthalates. But remember, this is silent. Shh. Oh. I've, you know, I've seen that. I just didn't know like that the pH was silent. Well, now you do. Yes, now I do. Okay, so now I have my list of in ingredients I'm gonna avoid. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not gonna, if I see that any of these on there, I'm just not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna do it. But are there specific ingredients that like I want to look for? Absolutely. I always say natural is best. Some of the best natural toners are witch hazel, green tea, tea tree oil, and aloe vera. Ooh, I love aloe. It's very soothing. We here at Fleur and B have decided to go with a rose water toner. Now the reason we did that is because rose water is naturally fragrant and smells wonderful. It's refreshing and it's also great for people with sensitive skin. Another great thing about Fleur and B's rose water toner is it only contains two ingredients, rose oil and water. Mind blowing, isn't it? Wow, cause like I look at these labels and it's like, whoa, like a hundred different things. I hate little, little ingredients. Two? <laughs> Yes. My world just got rocked. I'm sorry, it did. I can't believe it's just two ingredients and it's roses and water. It's like, that's what you're gonna get at prom, you know? Like you just put it on your face. It's gonna be great, I love it. Oh my gosh. Education. <laughs> so are there any benefits to using a toner? Yes. Let's go over the seven benefits of using a toner. The first is that it minimizes the appearance of pores. It also helps to protect against environmental stressors, temporarily tightens skin, and it's refreshing. Ooh, I love things that are refreshing. I mean, who doesn't? Five, it provides a calming, soothing sensation. Six, it helps to remove oil, dirt, and makeup. Oh, wow. So after you use it and you're all like, so fresh and so clean, clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. And finally, it helps your skin to retain moisture providing a beautiful canvas for the rest of your skincare routine. Ta-da! That toner! Heavenly. So I feel like I have just like one more question and I think it's gonna be an easy question for you to answer. But when do we use a toner? Ah, that is a great question. You use a toner at minimum twice a day as part of your morning skincare routine and your nightly skincare routine. Just use it right after your cleanser and before your moisturizer. Now let me let you in on a little secret. Oh yes please, I love secrets. You can use your toner throughout the day. Mm. Exercised? A little sweaty? Use a toner. Skin a little oily? Use a toner. Smell a little bad? Use a toner. Wow, so like just anybody can use these toners. Smelling bad, oily? Yes. Exercise fiends? Wow, wow, mm -hmm. okay, so. Just recap for myself real quick what I have learned today. I learned what a toner does, ingredients to avoid, ingredients I should be looking for, all of those amazing, awesome, 
super duper benefits of a toner and when to use it. Plus, I'm gonna throw one in my bag to the gym, I'm gonna throw one in my bag to work and I'm just gonna be spraying myself all day long with this stuff. It's official guys, I am now also a toner expert. Congrats, grad. Oh, thanks so much, I can't wait to tell my mom. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Great. So at Fleur and V, we have an amazing toner for you if you're interested in trying to integrate it into your routine. It doesn't contain any of those nasty ingredients that we mentioned earlier. It has no parabens, sulfates. Um, it's also vegan and cruelty free. And at Fleur and B, we donate 1% of proceeds to charity to help provide menstrual care and education to young girls in need. And if you use code YouTube when you check out, you can get 25% off. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for watching and learning with us. And please subscribe to our channel for more amazing skincare tips. Class dismissed. See you next time. Oh, man. All right, you can this is a very now. long handshake. All right.